Hello there, this is Michael Keyes, and welcome on this wonderful day. In fact, where I am, it is stinking hot. So I hope where you are, you're staying cool, and that you are making more sales. So today I want to share with you the biggest mistake that a real estate agent can make. And I think we all agree that as a real estate agent, in the very nature of the career, we must be great with people, and we've got to be able to build rapport. You know the type of person who walks into a room, and they light up the room, and there's not a stray word, and people just love them? You know that type of person who just walks in? You've all heard my story before, but I certainly was not a people person when I started in real estate. I was shy, quiet, and introverted. When I told my mother-in-law that I was going into real estate, she laughed, and she had a big belly laugh, and she said, you go into real estate, you're so depressed. You can't even talk to people. And how are you going to handle the rejection of prospecting? This was my first motivational talk. And I went on and I sold her house about nine months later. And she said, oh, you might be okay at this after all. And one of the biggest mistakes agents make is that they think they've got to have the gift of the gab. This is not true. Because what we're going to be talking about today is about the art of listening. You see, the first way to overcome an objection is to hear people out. And so what you've got to do, instead of having the gift of the gab, you've got to have the gift of of being able to listen intently, hear what's said, answer the objection, and close the sale. It is that simple. So let's have a look at somebody who's starting out or somebody who's got a lack of confidence. They see these people in the area that they think have got the people skills, which is they think it's the gift of the gab. And this can be a huge shock to their confidence. They might think, but I'm introverted. But I can never achieve what they achieve because they are extroverted and have the gift to be able to sell houses. And they think the gift is the gift of the gap. Furthermore, they begin to question their decision to enter this wonderful world of real estate and doubt their ability. The more they doubt themselves, the less confidence they have. And the less confident they are, the less likely they are to prospect. And the less prospecting they do, the higher the chance of failure. So I'm here to tell anybody who feels like this that your personality type does not determine your success. You can learn this stuff. And who says you need to be the loudest and most outgoing person on appointments or prospecting? Guess what? Introverts sell houses. And they sell houses by listening intently, asking excellent questions, and then getting over the objections and moving on and leading people to make the right decision. When I did my first real estate course, the lecturer asked in front of the class, I wonder which three it'll be. And somebody asked him, what do you mean? He said, well, only three of you will survive in real estate. And there were 32 of us in the class. And he was right. Only three of us did survive. That's 10%. Why is it that only 10% of people survive in real estate? And I can tell you why. It may be because of their attitude. It may be because they don't have the desire and they don't have the persistence. But I think a lot of time is they quit just before they're going to succeed because they don't get skilled up and don't learn how to sell real estate. I bet my bottom dollar, the top performers who have the people skills have spent hundreds if not thousands of hours learning how to do it. You're not born with these skills, you learn them. Just as professional basketballers are not born with the skill to be the best shooter in the world. When you go through the exams to get registered to be a real estate agent, you learn the technical stuff. You learn contract law, you learn property law, you learn code of ethics. And these are important, they certainly are. But just as important are these, if not more important, are the technical skills, such as rapport building, planning, having a structured day, learning how to overcome objections, learning how to close the sale, and learning how to prospect every day so that you find one good listing appointment per day. And if you want to find out how to do this, come to start 2014 like a rocket. It's on in Melbourne on the 21st of January, Sydney the 22nd of January, and Brisbane on the 23rd of January. You know, once I got serious about this and I learned this stuff, I sold 19 houses in one month after not having sold a house for seven weeks. I was an introvert and now I stand on stages around the country sharing my story so hopefully that I can inspire those people who perhaps aren't 100% confident to become confident and succeed. You see, I'm so passionate about this. If this resonates with you or if you'd like more information about learning how to do this, send me an email at michaelkeys.com at keys.com.au and I'll respond to you personally. So go out and make more sales and this is Michael Keys saying goodbye.